All right, welcome back to another draft video. Here with me, Marshall from Luna Resources, and um, this is, again, New Capenna. Apparently, um, the thing switched over, so I'm back to, like, gold now or something. Uh, we'll see when we get in. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll make a little run here for uh, for Mythic, I think, over the course of the next couple of weeks. Let's see what we got here in this one, though. Uh, Cemetery Tampering. No, ooh, Lagrella the Magpie. I love that card. Deal Gone Bad. Jewel Thief's great. I want to take Lagrella though. I've been pretty loose about taking triple colored cards. Like I just, I've, I've kind of just been taking the card I think is the best card out of the pack and letting it sort itself out rather than being super conservative about like, well, I could take this mediocre one color card, but at least I know I can cast it. Like I just been kind of going for it and figuring it out later. Which one is this? Oh, that's that one. Not quite on color. There's a celestial regulator that I could play. Illuminator Virtuoso would make the cut. Venom Connoisseur would be pro probably okay too. I even like Glittermonger. I think it's between this and this for me. Illuminator Virtuoso. Magpie is fine. I don't really draft decks that take full advantage of this where I'm constantly targeting it though. Well, let's take the regulator here. Let's just go full gold. Oh man, Night Clever. I like that card. Uh, what do we got? Echo Inspector? Sure. There's also a Rakish Revelers, which wouldn't be the worst, but yeah, I'll take the Inspector here. Refuse to yield. I'm going to refuse to take it. Speakeasy server, fine. Expendable Lackey's okay. Newsy. Witness protection. I think it's between these two. I'll take this thing. Okay, backup agents playable. Bruiser's okay. Rooftop nuisance kills me a lot. <laughs> I guess I'll try it. Ooh, Ceremonial Groundbreaker. What does this one do? Plus two, plus one, and trample, and I can equip citizens for just one. Or I could take this, but you know what? I actually want to try this card. I've played against it once, and it was pretty decent. Maybe I can make it work here. I'm in, I'm in the right colors. Also, I've just taken, like, every gold card possible, I think. Another rooftop nuisance, a dapper shield make. I don't, I don't mean, I don't like this guy. I don't really like any of these cards that much. Come on, three drops, four drops, and a five drop. So I'll just take this doofus. Lagrell is really good. Everything else is kind of medium. All right, Fencer, Lackey, Make Disappear, Maestro's Theater, no. All right, I'll take a Lackey. Lackey-Nuisance combo, I guess. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Nothing good in these packs. Not even good stuff in other colors, really, but definitely nothing for us. Just nothing? Let me go for a run out of town. Could build a decent little tempo deck here, but I need to improve my curve a little. Like, I got to get rid of this bruiser. I should actually take a witness protection here. Another Backstreet Boy. But I don't really want either of these.
Ooh, very nice. Blue, blue, white, or blue, 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 I can actually cast this. Okay, what does it do? It connives, and I get the cards? Yeah, that seems really good. There's other playables here, but yeah, I'm going to take Toulouse. Um, what do I have here? Wow. Bunch of amazing stuff for everybody else. I'm not a big fan of the Grifter, but I will play Spar's Adjudicators here. Skybridge Towers is close as well. And I even like Glittermonger, as I said, but I really like Spar's Adjudicators, and I just really like these this cycle of spells. I think they're all really good. This deck can really have like a tempo play out to it. And this is a great curve topper for that. Ooh, nice. Endless Detour. Solid card. Not amazing, but it's good. I could also take a Civil, Ser Civil Servant over it, though. I really could use a little more Beatdown. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take Civil Servant. I know it's a little weird. It's a rare, it's tr triple color rare in my colors, but, you know, ultimately that card plays out a lot like this. Right? Like, you can, it's a more flexible version, but it's not, like, so much better. Where, you know, decent two drops like Civil Servant that want to get down and get frisky, oh, I can do a pretty good job. Oh, wow. Obscura Interceptor? There's a Broker's Hideout that I really need, but I'm going to take the Obscura Interceptor and see if I can splash for it. Because this card is fantastic, and it goes really, really well in decks like this. I also could use the Black Mana here just like in a pinch, so... We will see. There's a chance I don't get enough um, fixing to make it work, but I like the upside on that. Lots of good black cards, but I'm going to take another Echo Inspector. I am a fan of this card. Oh, man. I'm getting the good stuff now. Exotic Pets. There's also another Adjudicators, but yeah, I, I love Exotic Pets. Card's solid. It's not a bomb by any stretch, but it, it does its job. Hmm. So here's a big question. Do I play by your silence or do I just want like another rooftop nuisance? I mean, the rooftop nuisance, um, this is a deck that's kind of built well for it with like the lackey and like the pets and stuff like that. I think I'll take it. I think I'll just try to leverage that card and see if we can't make it work. Who needs removal when you can either bounce or tap down your opponent's stuff, right? That's way more fun. Here's for the family that I could play. I'm actually just going to play another Rooftop Nuisance. I don't know. Is this card bad? Like if I just cast it? It seems fine. All right. I'll take a Waterfront District, actually. Um, that gives me a Black Splash for the Interceptor or the if the manor's, mana is awkward for to lose. And it's not like a huge cost. I still would need another... At least one more way to fix, but. And this is technically that, but not really the way I want to do it because I won't have the red mana. So is it Initiate or Grifter? Fine, I'll take a Grifter. Maybe I could just Grift. Oh, it's already a 1-2? All right, yeah, Grifter goes up a lot when I've got three Rooftop Nuisance. Bruiser, no. All right, Case the Joint, sure. I can usually afford to play one card draw spell in decks like this. Like one card that just doesn't do anything other than draw cards. Sometimes you want zero. Um, man, I have not been impressed by Obscura Initiate. I'm going to take another Witness Protection. We're just doing it. Nobody wants Tavern Swindler. Okay. Rafine's Guidance, maybe. Oh, man. Hostile Takeover, but I can't double splash. Ooh, but I got a Psychic Pickpocket. 
I'll take that. Still, this is hard, man. Hostile Takeover is dope. That card just crushes. You know, I actually feel better about this Obscure Interceptor Splash just because I do... I can uh, loot it away a bunch. What is this one? Oh, yeah, not so great. What is Take to the Streets? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I'll probably just take that and just try to win the game with it. This is a Broker's Hideout, though? Hmm. Right now, I only have the Spars Adjudicator. Dang. I have 14 creatures. I mean, I'm not really doing, like, full-on citizen token nonsense, but this is just a game winner. My fixing sucks, though. Yeah, let's gamble. All right, Skybridge Towers. Yes, I could take Glittermonger, which I also like. But I think we have enough playable, so I can just... If I see a land like that, I can just take it. All right, there's another Adjudicators, which would work. Oh my god, another Pickpocket. There's also a Fairy Vandal, which I like, but I'm just pickpocketing. If we can curve up to five, like, we can just keep them so off balance. This two. Oh, wait, but here's Skycrier. I, do I need twos? I actually could use another two. I'm going to take Skycrier here. I like that card. Broker's Hideout? Yes, please. Oh, there's a Rocks Pummeler, too, but whatever. We need to eat our vegetables here because Broker's Hideout's right where we want to be. An Obscura Hideout, whatever it's called, Obscura Storefront, whatever, that would be nice, too. We'll definitely play one of those. Or a Shattered Seraph. Yeah. Yeah, or a Shattered Seraph. That actually works. I'll play that. Because that lets us cast this and then cast itself, and it also just fixes for two of our colors of mana. Uh-oh, Value Police are coming. Oh, I know. I'm doing it. I'm just sort of starting to trim here and see what we're really looking at. Okay, so I could take another Waterfront District, which would again give me more black, or another Shattered Seraph, or a Run Out of Town. I've already got one, but that'd be pretty good. I don't think I want Make Disappear, Offer You Can't Refuse, or Broker's Initiate. So it's down to these two or that. I'll just take the Seraph here. I don't know if I'm going to play these or not, but if I do, if I do decide to splash black for Interceptor, I want at least one Seraph. Two probably I don't need. But one would be fine. If my playable count is just like super sweet and this thing looks good and has a theme, then I can ditch the, the splash too. What is hold for ransom? Oh yeah, I'll play that. That card's good in decks like this, I think. In control decks, it's not as good. Still okay, but not as good. But here, I think it's like actually just totally fine. Uh, nothing for us, I suppose. Gardner, case the joint. Uh, Gardner, I guess. I'm going to take this dagger. I haven't actually played it yet. It seems okay. I doubt I'll make it'll make the cut here. Like, I think I like this ceremonial groundbreaker a little better, but maybe interesting. Okay, so there's my deck. And we need to make some cuts here. And let's see, so we've got Lackey, Grifter, Protection, Removal, Removal Creature, Creatures, probably cut some number of those. We've got 18 Creatures, all right. Oh, wait, what is this? It's my card sleeve. Avatars? Okay. 
I guess I'm fine with this or whatever. All right. So I've got 18 creatures. Um, okay. And then this is like removal ish. 19 creatures. So I can't play that. I do want a lot of creatures. I wonder if I should ditch Obscura Interceptor and Shattered Seraph. I think I should actually, because we just we need to make so many cuts here. Just trying to cut the like weaker stuff. I want to keep my creature count high so that take to the streets does work. I guess I can cut one nuisance then. Probably one gardener. I mean, I do need these early threats, but that card's like very weak. I guess it gets better with this. Is it a citizen? Oh, it is. Okay, I should play it then. Sorry, didn't know you were a citizen. Sifted aura. Okay. Uh oh. Woke the dog up. Okay, I think I'll cut Speakeasy server. This card seems mediocre to me. And then I could cut Case the Joint, which I think I will actually. Okay, so this is 11. Yeah, this all looks good. It's okay, pup. It's okay. Oh. She's, she's got to protect me. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, this deck looks okay. Let's see what it can do. Wanted to say thank you to, uh, all the patrons for limited resources. It helps make videos like this possible. I do appreciate it. And there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Hi. Okay. So yeah, I am back down to gold, but that's because the month turned over or something. So noted. Hey. What are you barking at? Come here. Oh, sorry. What are you barking at? Huh? You don't even know, do you? You're just barking at the wind, huh? Yeah. And now I get kisses. Okay. That's better than barking. And I'm going to do both at the same time. <laughs> this dog is hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. You are such a clown. Um. Okay. This happens, get in there, and then I'll just adjudicate one of these lands and probably just start grifting. Ugh, not what you want to be doing. But uh, we do what we got to do. And now she's going out in the living room to chase off the bad guys or whatever. Gala Greeters, Alliance. Whenever you, you choose one, okay, you put a counter on it, make a treasure. Dang, that card's good. I'm not really well set up for cards like that either. Oh, and they even have the one ball? Make a treasure, almost guaranteed. Yep. <clears throat> Civil Servant, huh? Okay, well, that at least gives me something to do. Uh, no attacks. Go ahead, go ahead. Mm hmm. Make more treasures. Great. Looks like they're just building up to this thing. Wow, that was a good rip. That was a lucky draw. Mm, ceremonial Groundbreaker, huh?
Hmm. All right, I think I'll be a little bit greedy here. I mean, I have two fives that I want to play soon, so getting rid of a land's a little tough. But if I draw one, I can just play them. And if I don't draw one, then I can go breaker and equip to this and even get in there. Or leave it back to block this thing or something like that. If I draw a land, I'll just play Psychic Pickpocket and bounce the bandits, but... All right, I did draw a land. Mm, attack here, I guess. I'll trade off for the assassin, I don't care. If they just replay this, I'll just adjudicators, lock it down, get in an attack, and then try to take advantage of this or this to kind of run over my opponent. Ooh, exotic pets. Dang, that's a nice one. Because that's really good with take to the streets. But all right, let's just uh, let's, let's take our time here. Um, actually, yeah, I will do that. Oh, good, I got in. That's amazing. This thing gets lifelink, right? Yeah. So a land would be really good because I could go Ceremonial Groundbreaker, go, then play Exotic Pets, end step, then untap, equip Breaker, because I'd have six, I'd have six mana to the Servant for one, and then play Take to the Streets and go, and just, like, jam. Oh, Nightclubber. Oh, it doesn't actually kill anything. Wow, okay. Lucky. Really? Okay. Okay, stockpile. That's fine. All right, so land again would be ideal, but I don't actually need it. Like, I can still do stuff here. Wow. Lagrella? Lagema? Just this. I don't even think I... Uh, four, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you know what? I will actually do that. Because there's a decent chance that if this game... If this game goes well, like the way that it's going right now then I'm just going to win. And if it doesn't, it involves Lagrella dying, them getting this thing back, and then I think I'd rather have that Grifter. It's all citizens, rogues, and soldiers around here. Okay. I'll take it. I didn't even need these, too. But Lagrella, you know, there's a reason I pack one, pick one, that card. The card's insane. Okay. Uh, planes, no lackey, but yeah, this is all fine. This is a citizen for the Groundbreaker, too. Oh, must be nice to have your lackey on turn one. Must be nice, as they say in the biz. I also have my Lagrella in my opener, which I really like. Ooh, Civil Servant? Yes, please. Oh, you're going to counter it? No, they're going to Adjudicators. Okay. Acceptable. Okay, there's my other color of mana. So this turn looks okay, then. I can just go Civic Gardener. Attack with the cat. Tap the gardener. Ow. Oh, okay. And then play this so that I can Lagrella or do whatever next turn. 
Next turn is also probably just going to be Ceremonial Groundbreaker Equip, right? Like, that's pretty dang strong. Ooh, you got in with that? I like that. Okay. Here I could also go Lagrella plus Lackey, and then I'd still have Hold for Ransom for this or for whatever they do later. Hmm. Are you a citizen, Lackey? You are. So if I go Groundbreaker Equip, that's probably better. Because I'm getting in for 5 lifelink here, so it kind of just buys me a ton of time to lay out these things. So they adjudicate the servant. And that's fine. Ooh, Toulouse? Can I play this? No, I need another blue source to play it. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um... I guess I just equip here. And attack. Oh, I can do that too. It doesn't do that much, so I think I'd rather just do this. Because I can kind of do all the things anyway. Tradesies? Oh, no tradesies? Okay. It is your funeral, as they say. Um, I'll put this here. And then I wonder if I should just equip here. I think I'll do that. Okay, buy my silence on the equipment. Nice. And now I can Toulouse as well, so that's kind of cool. Um, but this turn, I think I just need to go Lagrella, hold for ransom, just bash the heck out of them. So let's get rid of this and the lackey. And then I'll hold the bird for ransom. And just attack. All right, they didn't like the tempo. That's a big turn, right? I add two power to my board, I take away their creature, and then I take away their other creature. Like, that's a big double spell turn, so. Yeah, I see why they scooped, sort of. I wouldn't have. I also didn't know what their hand was. Okay, Skycrier, Witness Protection, Nuisance. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's probably not great hand, but maybe I can do something with the crier getting in a little. I do have the blue swords to plowshares. Fairy vandal. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's lock it up. Minor downgrade for now, but that that's the kind of card that can get really big. Another flyer, really. Grifter. Just want to kind of get through my library here. I'm basically just cycling the rooftop nuisance. I do get a little bit of benefit, but... Hmm. Not great. I 
Hypnotic Grifter. Yay. Your turn. Boon of safety, put a shield counter on target creature, scry one. Alright. Oh, because they want to get some cards going, that's why. Hmm. Come on. Thank you. La key. Okay. And then I guess I just need to run the Obscura Initiate out of town. Or actually, I can just pick its pocket now. But I need to get the thing with the counter out of here. That, that's pretty important. Knives. Do I need six mana? Not really. These are all, all are, are cards that I'm kind of interested in having. So let's get rid of this. And then I'll just pass here because I'll trade off for the Metropolis Angel if... If given the opportunity. So that's going to connive and could pick up a counter. And it does. Oh, man. That's pretty good. They can throw that on the angel now. Put it on the angel. There you go. Okay, so no blocks here. So a nice little hit, but I can kind of do some things. So it's not the... Ooh, how about that? That'll work. Um, Yeah, I'll ditch a lackey here. Send the angel packing. Now I'll get in with this. Um, and this, I guess. Nice. Because I'll just trade the informant for the pickpocket. Because what they're going to do is play the angel to get a card back right away, which is definitely the right thing to do. But I can kind of stem the bleeding here by blocking with the pickpocket. And I'm basically just able to keep taking out the things with a plus, plus one, plus one counter on it or a counter on it. Broker's veteran, okay. Um. Do this, I guess. Conductor, I can actually play it, right? Blue, blue, white, yes, I can. I feel like this card isn't doing great for me right now. So I think I'll just get rid of it. And then I'll lackey. Yeah, whatever, I'll even attack. Okay, by my silence, that seems fine. Because they're still not getting a card out of this anyway. Ooh, I think I block here. Yeah, because they'll protect the angel and then I can just run it out of town. Oh, they put it on the fish. I can run that out of town too. <laughs> All right, well, let's Lagrella. Oh, damn it, I should have attacked first because I think I actually do want to get rid of that. Yeah, whatever. Sometimes I'm stupid. OK. 
Okay. The business. Mm -hmm. and that does get you in for an attack. If you want it. Wing shield agent. Okay. I think I just adjudicate here. Hmm. Somehow didn't leave myself mana to cast this. Feel like that could have been tapped better, but I guess not. Stupid. Okay. Now I am down to six. That does hurt. Okay. We will connive here. What am I doing? What does the Grella have under it? Skycrier and what else? Did I not get something with it? I forget now. Did they bounce it? What happened? Because I could bounce this and give myself a 3-3 flying lifelink at instant speed. Should be pretty good. Yeah, go ahead. Now I kind of have to do that. Well, I think they got me here. Because they're just going to attack with everything. Oh, they can't actually with the bruiser. All right, I thought that they could for some reason, but they can't. So that doesn't do anything, actually. So they do get to draw a card. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, I've got an easy block here. I can eat this. I can block here. That looks right. It's a bit of a blowout, because remember, I'm drawing the Gorilla now. So that'll take out the regulator. Nice! That actually worked. I wonder if this actually gets in. <laughs> If they have a way to deal with this... Okay, so now I'm at 9, so that's really good. And now I can Lagrella and hit this. And do I hit this thing too? I don't think so. I'll just go like that. And then I can even do Skycrier if I want. Very Vandal. Was that my end? No, that was their main phase? Okay. And then they're going to crack this to get a counter on it. Mm 
No attacks. So they can put a counter, but they can't do this and a counter. So, all right. So they want that thing to be able to trade off for this. Okay. Well, let's draw a card. Just me. Hey, okay, not great. Not great. But this thing gets to attack again, which is really big. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so they found kill shot. And then they trade here. And we got ourselves a game. We could have activated the sky crier there, but <clears throat> maybe it would have been fine. It wouldn't even have triggered the fairy. But I'm not I, I need something, but I don't need a whole lot here. Getaway car? What the hell is this? Okay. So then they can replay the wing shield agent here. All right, that's probably worth killing. But they get back the agent, but they're not really in a great position just yet. But they've got cards, and I don't. And the agent is still okay. What do I need here? Uh, the equipment would be good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Exotic Pets is actually pretty good. Go ahead. Wow, that's really good. Boy, that one life matters a lot here, too. Boy, that was nice. Hmm, yeah, that was a really good series of draws there. Oh, man, another Civic Gardener, really? They're just going to trade that for a shield counter for sure. And all they need to do is draw two cards here. No, they just win. Wow, that was a good game. They did really well to win that game. Like, I thought we were back in this for sure. And they found their way out. Nice work. All right. Skycrier, yeah, Civil Servant, Gardener, which has been terrible. And I got a witness protection too, huh? I guess that's the one land I really don't want to play. <laughs> Give myself the option. I mean, I'll probably just play the civil servant and then follow up with the... <laughs> I should probably follow up with the crier. Ooh, ceremonial groundbreaker. Okay. Now we got our, Now we got some business. The business. Don't strangle my servant. Yeah, I can't do much about that. So I got the dog here barking at me. Um, guess I will actually just go with the gardener here because it matches up with what they happen to have played here. Ooh, I got in a three lifelink hit with this thing. That's sweet. They better do something. Okay, this is good. So they did do something, but that was not a productive turn for them. They got in for two and basically left three mana empty. So they're going to need something pretty sweet. And Plasma Jockey is not it. 
Um, I think I'm just going to witness protect and sky crier here. No, <laughs> I click those backwards. <laughs> Stupid. Doesn't change the damage, but I could have had an untapped creature here. What would I have had untapped? I would have had this that could block that. All right, they didn't attack anyway, so it didn't matter. So now the question is, do I want to play run out of town on something? Not really. I just want to ground break here. And throw it on a citizen. Um, which I guess would be this one. I mean, lifelink is good, but this is an attack I don't really have. And now I can attack with everything. And then I will untap. Oh, and I get to do both. Hey, hey, hey look at me go. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what I untap as long as it's a citizen. C -c -c combo Sweet. Man, I am slamming. Eight damage? I mean, they do have all this mana and three cards, so probably something's going to get messed with, but still, this is just a sweet attack. Okay. What do you got? Fake your own death. All right. That's a good use of that. Um, I think I will actually equip this here. Demons do? You're down to five? Okay, well, hopefully they're planning on just, like, playing Glamorous Outlaw or something. They bottom-bottomed, too. They are going to Glamorous Outlaw. Well, let's see if they attack. They probably won't. <clears throat> Dang. Really could have used something there. I mean, not that I'm in a bad spot, but... Okay, let's get in. And play Broker's Hideout. Just to get a forest out of our deck and then pass. So they do have to put up a flyer or a removal spell. I got that going for me. The downside is if they do, I guess I probably just run out of town the Skycrier if they kill it. That would make sense, right? I mean, it's a slow process. But... Mm, sure. Wait, how did they get down to two? Did I miss something there? Okay, that thing doesn't matter. All right. Ooh, that's not bad. All right, I'm good for the attack. So kill this thing. And then I'll play the lackey. So the question is, do I want to run this thing out of town? I would draw it next turn. Yeah, you know what? I think I would like to draw, draw a Skycrier next turn. It's a little weird because of stuff, but yeah, this, this makes sense to me somehow in my demented way. Okay. Go ahead. And they can't really attack into the Lackey because if it dies, I can just equip the fish and get them. Maybe we need to find like a lot of removal spells. I guess they can attack into it because of the plasma jockey, but they've got to be careful because they've got one toughness, one toughness, two toughness. So they, yeah, they, they're on a kind of a fine line here, but they can definitely get out of this.
So here they have to make it so my lackey can't block. Ooh. This doesn't look good for them. Remember, this thing gives trample. So you have to be very careful with these low toughness guys. Oh, they made it so that this could actually block anyway? Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm just not going to block because I have lethal on board anyway. All right. So they have to do that and then they're going to want to trade here. Oh, nice. Um... I think I just kill Mayhem Patrol and actually just leave this thing on the battlefield. Kind of weird, but the one toughness is a major liability here. Okay, and then I'll make a fish. And then I'll put this on here. Okay, so I have two lethal threats now. I'm at 18. Both of them are currently not able to be blocked. Yeah, might as well. They've got two cards and a lot of mana. It would take a lot, though. Maybe a sweeper? Sweeper would do good. But they would have played that first. Hmm, light them up. That is fantastic. Huh, all right. I guess I need a creature. Wow, what a turn for our opponent. Yeah. Now we're just dead. Now I need to top deck Lagrella, I guess. And have them have nothing. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is brutal. Like, I feel like I gave us every chance to not have that happen, but maybe I'm wrong. All right, two and two. This deck is playing out okay. But it feels like a little bit of a fragile strategy, although the, the two games we've lost have been extremely close, right? That one was for sure. Okay, this looks like something. Rooftop nuisance, sacrifice the lackey, get some card advantage. I mean, it's better if you have you know, something kind of going on, but as far as damage goes, but looks like we've got a little bit of time here. Okay, okay. Got all the stuff. But in the meantime, I'm just chipping away for one. So not a great curve, not a great curve, but our man is coming together. So we've got that. Magician, sure. I'm going to play Sky Crier and pass. Okay. Attack. I think I'm just going to get rid of this. Hold for Ransom seems a little better in this spot. 
Maestro's Charm. Ooh, but they're digging. Okay. They must just want to find mana because they just use their treasure token for blue. So maybe they're just trying to hit an island. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. All spells. Cut your losses. Really? Okay. And there's the island. So that was what was going on there. Wrecking Crew. Good. Wrecking Crew is the type of card that my deck actually does really well against. Um, because it's just kind of like a singular threat. All right, so I'll play this. I'm going to go get another island, I think. Um, I could sack this to Nuisance, tap both of those, get in for four, have a bunch of cards, and have them kind of on lockdown. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I can start chaining pickpocket together. So like if they if their plan is just to like play some some big something, I can just like pickpocket hit you, pickpocket hit you. I can start bouncing this to get in with this. Definitely in the lead right now. Worst thing that can happen is they kill Echo Inspector, and then we don't really have threats so much anymore. So like even pickpocket adds something to the board, so it helps. But you know. You want to be able to back up these type of plays. Yeah, that's not it. That's also not it. Um, so I can't actually do pets plus ransom. I can do pets plus lackey and just get in for three here. Or I can pickpocket and bounce the infiltrator and get in for four, but then I don't have the pets. Yeah, I think just getting in for three is okay here. And I'll lackey here and pass the turn, and then I'll play pets. And we'll see what they do. If they get a little chippy and try to get in an attack with one of these guys, then I can really punish them. Join the maestros. Okay, this just makes a bunch of dummies on the ground, though. I can also pickpocket these away. So there's the 5-5. Five five. So let's see if they chip in with it. They do. Okay. That works for me. So this one of these pets is going to pick up a plus one, plus one counter, too. Pickpocket away the wrecking crew here. Run out of town. Yeah, that looks good. And then I can attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight to put them to two, but only have one blocker and I could easily die on the crackback. So I don't want to do that. Definitely get in with this. Definitely get in with this. And then maybe like one of these. This puts them down to four, so not quite dead. And I've got three blockers plus a lifelinker for this, so probably will work out for us. Because next turn I can take care of two creatures as well if they're like, okay, fine, replay Wrecking Crew kind of shields up. I also have the Fisher lethal, like if I don't have to block with one of them. Definitely willing to block with Pickpocket and Crier. Okay, <laughs> they put my fish in witness protection. <laughs> um, I can get rid of witness protection, though, and unlock my unblockable fish here. I just kind of need them to tap out. Yeah, that's perfect. So that is good game. They should just probably, I mean, I don't know if I'm them, I'm probably setting in with the four threes, I guess. Yeah, sure. Within reason. But I have all types of ways to win this game.
These two are lethal, and these guys are lethal on the ground, too. Oh. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, I was supposed to take out this and another thing, but it didn't matter. Um, all right. So that was kind of exactly how we were going to play it out, right? Get ahead, stay ahead type scenario. Got a little bit closer. Our opponent actually did some fairly powerful stuff. But this deck is good at closing out. Like, it's good at capitalizing on a lead. Okay, so I've got... Yeah, this just has to be a keep. I mean, I can play these two guys. I don't have white mana yet, so I don't get to play my really powerful stuff down here. But, like, Lagrell is the best card in my deck, I think. And I'd have to go a really long time without white to make this, like... Yeah, it just doesn't seem reasonable. So, like, I'm going to play Lackey. I'll play Grifter the next turn. And if I haven't found white, I have to find a land. If I, I mean, there are scenarios that happen occasionally where you never hit your third mana ever. And when, <laughs> and when that happens, you, you never consider that, right? You, you don't look at that and say, um, um, I guess this is a 1-2 over a 1-1. One, one. You don't look at that and like play around that scenario because you don't win those games anyway. So then you say, okay, well, assume that I will find a land. Let's say it's not white in this scenario. Well, I'll have Grifter down on turn one or two. So if I find another green or blue source, I can start grifting to find lands. It's not where you want to be, but that's like, if that's your worst case realistically, again, actual worst case is that you never find your third land, but you don't play around that because you, you lose every time that happens anyway. Um, so your worst case then is just this. Oh, wow, they flash up or whatever blitzed it. Looks like they just want a card out of the deal. In. So, yeah, that's how I break down those situations. Night Clubber to kill my Skycrier. Pretty good. I'm glad I didn't play the Lackey. That said, they have cards in hand, but no board still, so I got that going for me. Um, Getting in. Is this guy a citizen? No. Hmm. I could be more mana efficient by playing Groundbreaker, but if I play the Lackey, I can play Groundbreaker next turn, like if I don't have anything else to do, and put it on the Lackey and attack. It's very strange, but I think I'm going to do that. The time when I wouldn't do that is if I felt like I was for sure going to play Lagrella. And I don't feel that way. I feel it's, you know, 50-50. Like, they could play a mediocre creature. They could play something I don't really care about. Hmm. Interesting. So they just keep on blitzing. I've never seen anybody triple blitz before. They have no board state. I guess they have a 2-2 now. All right, well, the Echo Inspector kind of changes things because that's just a really good play here. I'm just going to play it. I'm, I'll basically discard what I draw almost every time. Yeah. Because these are a really good combo of cards. Take to the Streets is a beater. Groundbreaker on Lackey it is a good next turn, you know. Ah, oh, they're going to kill this. Okay. This is pretty good for them. Ooh, Adjudicators. I like that, too. But let's go Groundbreaker and put it on the Lackey. So they're down to 12. We're down to 10. But, again, their creatures kept leaving. <laughs> I almost for sure want to eat one of my creatures with magpie against this color pair. Like it's th the chance of it surviving are fairly low. All right. Well, looks like I won't have any creatures anyway, but they won't either. So we two for two. Body launder. What does this do? Death touch. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, body launder connives. When body launder dies, return another target non-rogue creature card. With you. Okay. So I can't play Adjudicators. I could play this, or I could play this and then Ransom this, but they're at six and they could just undo it. That actually seems okay to me. 
Because I get the card and it takes a ton of their mana. So I'll make a fish. And if they go like land, unlock this, I'm like kind of okay with that, I think. Okay, Night Clubber gets to kill my guy. Oh, and they also did the thing again. Wow. So this is going to die, and then that's going to happen. All right, so this backfired. I mean, getting Night Clubber back was just brutal. Okay, well, this helps a little. I mean, Adjudicators is big. Damn. Man. Such a good card. I don't think we can win. So they just pay seven. We get a card. They attack. We chump block. And then Dust Mangler kills us. So, yeah, that's game. Yeah, th this is an interesting one because it played out really in such a way that, like, they had this weird kind of aggressive line with the constant blitzing. But they, um, they also, their card quality was just extremely high, right? Like, they played a lot of uncommons, a mythic rare, um, you know, so this is a deck that's like, it's hard to, I don't want to take too much away from a deck like that. Cause that looked pretty sweet. We ended up finishing three and three, which eh, I was kind of hoping for four wins with this deck, but it wasn't that good. So I'm not surprised, but it's always tricky. Cause I'm like, Ooh, I want to try that. But also like if your average card quality is super high, you can get away with a lot, right? It also matched up well, the body, uh, what's it called? thing it killed it, it got a two for one both times right it killed a creature got in for two and then drew them a card so that matters too at any rate that's going to do it for today's draft thanks so much for hanging out and we will see you next time